Good evening, church. It is Saturday night. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. So very excited about tomorrow. Um, just to give you the update for tomorrow, we are moving right ahead with our plans. Tomorrow morning uh, in our church lot at 10 a.m., we will be having our uh, drive-in worship service. So feel free to come and join us for that. Uh, we are going to have a time of singing. We're going to have a time of communion, taking the Lord's Supper together. So if you have any of the home communion packs, bring those with you so we can all take communion together. If you don't have any, we will have some available. Uh, and so we'll have singing and we'll have uh, the Lord's Supper. We will have a short message from God's Word. And then some of you have asked, so just to let you know on the way out, if you so desire, we'll have a place that you can deposit some tithes and offerings if you so desire, but there's no pressure for that. Um, but it is available in case you want to do that. And so come tomorrow morning. Um, we want to start promptly at 10 a.m. So you may want to come a little bit early. Um, you know, parking is ultimately limited uh, with the size of our lot. So come a little bit early, be ready to, uh, to worship. Want to stress to you, very important. We're asking you to stay in your cars tomorrow. The building is not going to be open. Uh, restrooms not going to be available. Uh, don't want you getting out and visiting with each other. I know you'll be excited to see one another, but very important that you stay in your cars. We want to have a time of worship, but it has to be done in a way that's going to keep you safe and healthy as well. And so I'm very excited about that. Now, if you're not planning on coming tomorrow, that's fine too. Uh, the drive-in service is at 10 a.m. At 11 a.m., we hope to broadcast that service right here on our YouTube channel. And so provided that technology does not throw us a curve, we'll have the drive-in service at 10. It'll be on YouTube at 11. And so either way, you can uh, still participate and join in with the church family uh, for a Easter Sunday service. And we're, we're, again, just very excited about that. I know a lot of work has, has gone into getting ready for tomorrow. And so I'm very thankful. Um, to all of those who have worked hard to, to get ready and make this service uh, happen. I also want to just remind you tonight that our new church website is up and running, completely operational. Um, would encourage you to go and visit our, our new website. It is at www.englewoodchristian.com. And so go there. There's lots of information. There is a news calendar. Um, videos, encouragement. Um, some of you have asked, so we actually do have our online giving uh, is up and running so that you can be able to give in a way that is uh, secure and, and all information you know, is encrypted. You can safely give online. Uh, several of you have talked about wanting to do that, especially some of our family members up north. And so you're able to do that now. But visit our website, take a look around and uh, hopefully there is uh, some things there that will, there are some things there that will bless you. Um, today, I've been thinking about the disciples and getting ready for Easter tomorrow. I, I've been thinking a lot about, uh, I wonder what the disciples were experiencing on that Saturday uh, before Resurrection Sunday. Were they afraid? Were they hiding out and laying low? Um, were they going through a time of despair and anxiety and knowing that Jesus had been crucified? I can't imagine the gamut of emotions that they must have been experiencing. I try to put myself in their place, and it's very hard to, to think about what they may have been going through on that night before Resurrection Sunday, not really comprehending and knowing what that Sunday was going to hold in store for them and how much and how drastically it was going to change not only their lives, but the whole world. And so I can't imagine what that Saturday night was like for them. But I know this, their world was about to change. The very next day, everything was going to be turned upside down. And I think about our lives. I don't know what you're going through tonight. I don't know what you're experiencing tonight. Maybe some of you are discouraged with life. Maybe some of you are feeling a great sense of loneliness um, while being in your home. 
uh, not being able to get out and visit. Maybe some of you are experiencing some fear. I don't know what you're going through tonight, but I do know this. Jesus Christ is alive. He's risen. He is king. And that reality can totally turn our world upside down. It can totally change our lives if we allow it. And so while we've made all the physical preparations for worship tomorrow, we can't forget to be spiritually prepared for tomorrow. And so my prayer is that we would take some time tonight, that we would think about even what the disciples went through on their Saturday night, but that we would think and we would get our minds and our hearts ready to lift up the name of Jesus tomorrow, that we would have our hearts and our minds in the right place. And that is on the wonderful news and the victory that we can have because Jesus Christ walked out of that tomb because he overcame death. He overcame the enemy and through him, we have God's grace in our lives. And so I, I hope that tonight you will just spend a little bit of time uh, preparing for Easter, preparing for tomorrow and making sure that tomorrow is about the right things, not about eggs and candy and, and those things, even though those are nice and I like those, tomorrow being about the fact that the tomb was empty, that Jesus Christ is Lord, and that that changes everything. You have a wonderful night, and I'll see you soon.